Hi everyone. I wanted to share our experience with free ranging our animals. We own nine goats, 40 to 50 chickens, and six, well not six ducks, five ducks. And we live on one acre. I have little Rue that's trying to say hello to the camera. So just I wanted to share our experience with free ranging the animals on our property. We do free range our animals just about every single day. The only times that we don't free range our animals is if we're not going to be home all day, like if we're going to go out and it's going to take a long time to do errands and we're not going to be back within like an hour or two, we won't let anybody out. And then if the weather is really bad, then we'll keep them in. Uh, if it's like a little bit of drizzle or whatever, we might let them out. In case this is the first time that you're checking out our channel, we have a neighbor on either side of our house and there's a horse farm across the street. And then we have forest that's on the back of us. The forest extends like all the way. There's no houses whatsoever back there. So it's really nice. It gives it more of that secluded feeling uh, however, we do have a main road in front of our house, which has kind of been a downfall. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, if you free range your animals in the road, then you've probably had some hit. And you know what? Yeah, we have. We've had a few chickens get hit, and then we've had two ducks get hit. There's been... I'm not really sure how many chickens actually got hit by the cars and didn't survive. I think it was like two. There was another chicken on the property the same day that a duck had gotten hit by a car and the chicken was missing its leg and had everything all, all gutted out. Um, so I don't know if that was caused by the car or not because we found the chicken far away from the road it was like by the side of our house and kind of during that time we were having we were having also the other thing you're probably thinking about is dogs on our property I don't know where these dogs came from but there was two dogs that would come onto our property sometimes on a daily basis and they would run around and stuff and chase animals. Uh, luckily, they've never caught any, but we did scare them off and they ran away. Sometimes it would be like once a month that they would show up and then finally they stopped. I think what had helped was I saw the two dogs down the street attacking some small black animal. I don't know if it was a cat or if it was a little dog. It looked like a little dog. So I had gone down there and somebody else was actually out there. She said that she knew the dogs and would tell the neighbors because I told her that the dogs had been coming onto our property and would be chasing the animals. When the dogs would come onto the property, the goats would actually be up. The dogs never chased the goats around. All the times when they had came into the yard, the goats were up. So they would just be barking at the goats through the fence, thank goodness. Because I don't know if it would have been a whole different scenario or if we would have had like a whole different problem. We've never had a dog attack a goat before. And I don't wanna I don't wanna find out what happens if if those dogs would have done harm to it. The other thing is since we live out here in the country, we do have hunting season. The only problems that we have had was when they're hunting with dogs and they're going after the deer. We've had had honey dogs in our yard. We've had one actually catch a chicken and run off with it. It had the transmitter around its, its neck. We've had... Um, we haven't had any problems like that. That has only happened once, but we have had the hunting dogs in our yard, though, before. 
So, and that one carried off the chicken. So that was like a one-time thing, thankfully. When we're free-ranging the goats, I guess you want to say the free-ranging or grazing, whatever, we have had problems with the goats going to the street, and they have actually crossed the street. So when that has happened, sometimes we'll kind of keep the goats up for a couple of days, and then we'll let them out. We always keep an eye on the goats, but sometimes they uh, just go across the street. Uh, our boys, we just have a buck and a weather, and they're actually really good about staying in the backyard. The girl goats are the ones that we actually have a lot of problems with right now. I'm not really sure why, but they keep going up to the front yard. I'm not really sure what's growing up there, what they see that they don't see like back here. So like I said, we have nothing but like forest all back here, but they want to go all the way up to the front to the road. And like I said, we're on an acre. So not really sure what they see. We just try to keep an eye on them. If they go to the road, then we call them back. If they keep going up there, then they gotta be put up. We do try to let everybody get out because I think it's good for them to stretch. And I think it's probably good mentally too for the goats. So the other thing with the chickens going to the street and crossing it, it does seem like once certain chickens had gotten hit and killed, the chickens stopped going across the street. But we also let them out a little bit later during the day too, so I don't know if that might, might help. I do feed them scratch grain around the yard. It's little bits of grain and corn all crushed up. I'll just put it here and there throughout the yard. We do have several roosters, so I think that can get kind of chaotic. So I just try to make sure all the roosters are kind of in one little spot. Sometimes they'll have their own little tiffs, but usually they'll stay out of each other's way. They're really good about that. The ducks that were going to the road, they actually stopped when that one duck got hit and killed. And we're not even sure if that duck had gotten killed when the car hit it because we found the duck was someone just on the horn one of the when one of the ducks had gotten killed we actually didn't find it by the road. There's no feathers or anything. It was really strange. So we're kind of wondering if the duck had gotten hit and then if a vulture or maybe crows. We have tons of vultures around here. If they ate the duck, I don't know. I really don't know too much about it, but when that duck passed, we found it dead. The other ducks never went across the road again. And it was just the Muscovy duck and the mallard duck, or mallard looking duck, that we had problems with. Our Pekin ducks have never, ever crossed the road. And they're several years old. I don't know, someone keeps honking the horn and it's really annoying. I heard somebody honk the horn, but I know that there's no animals up there because we just let them out, but I just heard them honk again. The other joys of living by the road. There's actually a, like a cattle slash sheep farm down the road and I hear a lot of honking too, so I guess people are just honking at the animals. I'm not sure. I don't know. With the goats, we do have male goats and female goats. We have a buck, and they always get put out separately. So we might graze or let one pair out for a couple of hours, bring them back in, and then let the other pair. We do not let them out together when we first got the goats. That is another story for another time, but it was craziness, and they did get to graze together. And 
Yeah, we ended up with babies. But that is another story about goats. It'll be, I don't know, probably a good lesson for other people. So the other thing you might be wondering about is, well, do the animals go into the neighbor's yard? Yes, they do. We have two neighbors, one on each side. And one neighbor, I'm not really sure what he's doing with his house. We do see him from time to time, but I'm not sure if he's going to rent it out or what's going to go on. But we're actually kind of hoping that we'll move from this place to another place before anything happens. So our other neighbor that we have, we actually have had two neighbors in that house. <clears throat> One had passed away and that house was vacant for several months to a year I think and we had someone else move in there. It was very nerve wracking waiting for whoever was going to move in there because we already had the goats, we had a whole bunch of chickens, we had the ducks, the animals are like all over the place. During that time we had gotten Hercules too, so Hercules was wandering, wandering around during that time because he would actually stay in the yard when he was a puppy. It ended up he liked the animals, like he'll throw food out there, scraps or whatever, and the animals will come and eat them. So that's a good thing because all sorts of things could have happened. We would have had really bad neighbors that would do something to the chickens or ducks or goats or whatever. Or we could have the neighbor buy their own animals and they have roosters, we have roosters. There could have been some fighting going on but luckily we didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. So it worked out really great. He likes them. Good. Good. We got a really great neighbor. That's pretty much it. Uh, in this video, I think I've covered the chickens, ducks, and goats by the road, sometimes crossing it. The neighbors, the animals going into the neighbor's yard. And just kind of what we do with having male and female goats and also what we did with the chickens that had been crossing the road and they've done really well now those chickens but we do let them all out a little bit later so I don't know if that might have fixed it and did the grain anyways gosh if you have any questions or anything comment comment below and I make another video or comment back or whatever depending on what it is we've it's been okay it really has. Free ranging the chickens on our property. We've been really blessed with what's been going on and blessed with a really good neighbor because I hear all sorts of horror stories and when we lived in the city, we had a horrible neighbor across the street. All right, well, this is the end of the video, seriously. But always feel free to comment below, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.